Orange in the white, Leopards in the traveling maroon. Neil Quinn against Jesse Edwards, and the Leopards will control to start our game. I think Coach Beheim has been officially zoned since 2009. You gotta get it inside, and when the ball goes to the corner, you gotta do that. Leo O'Boyle. From beyond the arc, arc a year ago, when Lafayette went nine and six. Jimmy Beheim on the drive. Gerard starting his 58th game in a Syracuse uniform. There's Beheim again, playing the angle. And 7-1 and one in conference play on their home floor, and Swider pulls it down. Up ahead, Jimmy running the floor. Three and buckets for Jimmy. See, this is where they get transition threes. Swider. Edwards fighting for it. Syracuse ended up with it with Jimmy Beheim. But he had the position in the outlet to run. Syracuse last year was second best of the ACC in field goal percentage. D, tough to guard that. It's Buddy. Listen. Tipped up. That's in the cylinder. And the basket is going to count, and a foul was called. Winning the league championship against Loyola of Maryland. Really good job by C.J. Fulton, the freshman, to close out quickly on Buddy. Jimmy. But then there's Jimmy. Because Chris Likes was out. That's knocked around. Swider was able to grab it. Torrance. The junior from Syracuse, New York, and his teammate is knocking it down. Capitalize on another possession. When Syracuse wants you to play on top of that zone. You got to get inside it. Benny Williams. No layups. We're in number 13. What a play. I mean, it was a well-devised play by Lafayette, but Benny Williams was. You see, when the ball goes inside, that's when Syracuse matches up. And then Buddy Beheim, another triple. Can't get anything easy. Nothing on the offensive glass, nothing in transition. You're going to have to do that. Kyle Jenkins with a three-pointer. Torrance trying to work off of the screen. Left hand underneath, tipped up and in. Anselm offensive board. Trying to weave his way, feeds it to Anselm, second effort. And he'll dunk it. Gerard, free ball. He's been very successful over his time at Lafayette. Four times he's been coach of the year in that league. Gerard, a forceful drive. And a foul against the Leopards. 33% from beyond the arc. For the junior from Glens Falls, New York. Yeah, I expect all those numbers to be better for him this year. It's a tough three out of the corner and good. Devin Hines. Joe Gerard averaged close to 10 points per game a season ago. His teammate, Buddy Beheim, averaged almost 18 points per game, third best in the ACC. Buddy put the ball on the floor. So good outside the arc. And he's three, gotten better off the bounce. Three for four on three-point shots for Buddy Beheim. There's O'Boyle at the other end. But he does such a good job in the two-man game reading screens. And he knows right here he can take the freshman to the hole. How about a little lesson for the young guy? And that they have worked hard to get themselves in a position right here where they can be difference makers for their team. That's a long range shot from Perry. Did average 17 points per game in the season prior. He's on the bench right now watching Joe Gerard pump a three ball. But he grazes the net. Williams tries to save it. That's right to O'Boyle. Hines running the floor and he got fouled. Gerard pops it out to Buddy. Gerard, straight away, bang! During the course of the season, for made threes. Quick turnaround and make from Kyle Jenkins. Orange is led all the way here in the first half as we are inside of a minute to go. First half of the season. Long distance three, oh boy. 
Tay Ajak did a good job of setting that pin down screen for Buddy Beheim, and that should be his job. And Joe Girard. The Boyle picked up the foul. Edwards off the inbounds, calculates Jeff the Swider. angle. Swider, the transfer from Villanova, three seasons in that program. That's Buddy on the drive. Score the basket. By John Brantley to get to the open space. Jimmy, baseline spin. His hour-long video that we, we all got to watch. Kind of an awkward entry pass from Buddy, and then a run out for the Leopards. Gerard. Stop and start. Edwards. Look out below. He's got the team high 17 after the free throws. And the shot clock for the Leopards is at 10. Perry. Second three ball for Perry. They try to go to Jimmy on the baseline. He saved that play. Fulton. Just got to make a few more. Or do this right here, come up with a play. Fulton the layup. 44. Saved by Swider. Got it right back. On the run. Barnes shooting 50% for the game, Debbie, and 43% from beyond the arc. Gerard stepping back. He's behind the line. First foul on Williams. Back the other way for the Leopards. Three-pointer from the corner is good for Tyrone Perry. He can shoot it. He's got the quicks. Is that what the kids say, Debbie? He's got the quicks? I don't know. That's what <laughs> we've been saying for a long time. <laughs> you know, the good job by the Patriot League. Lafayette to push the ball up the floor. Score before that zone gets set. This is Williams. Jumper. Torrance. One on three. Deflected as the Leopards got back defensively. Here comes Fulton. O'Boyle in rhythm. Nice shooting motion from O'Boyle. Swider, not bashful. Nice job by Torrance to get a hand on it. Swider with the stuff. Four players in double digits. Led by Joe Girard with 20. This is Swider. Coming alive. Right, the here we half. go. Showing off the skills for number 21. Torrance had it for a moment. Taken back by the Leopards. And they convert. One of three players from Marquette that have transferred into the league. Dawson Garcia at North Carolina. I've seen them practice. He's having a, he's going to be a, have a big impact. 83-51 the Orange inside of five minutes to go in the second half. Just the start of the season. Three players in double digits for Lafayette. It's Jimmy Beheim got stopped at the rim for Bale. Curry oh, trying to thread the pass. pass to Jenkins. And they don't just block the shots into the fifth row. They block them into their transition game. <laughs> that spins in for the three-pointer from Hines. What about Buddy Beheim tonight with 18 points, 6 of 14 shooting, and three made three-pointers. Jimmy wants one. And Torrance will slow it down for the moment. 2.20 on the game clock. Oh, a shot. Attempted only four shots last season in the 10 games that he played. Oh! Williams the other way. Patty Casey is in there, number one. Edwards the turnaround off the backboard. They're 48% tonight from yeah. beyond the arc you, as a team. You make a mistake on any three of their three-point shooters. Hey, how about Casey? A walk-on from Division II University of Sciences in Philadelphia. Edwards punctuates it for the orange. Ninety-seven, sixty-three.